Hello, my friends. Hope you're doing really well. Let's have a very good look in detail at the difference between Tesla's batteries and BYD's. These brainiacs from Germany, they've dissected them, taken them all apart, taken apart the entire battery pack system, looked at Tesla's 4680 battery cells, looked at BYD's blade battery, and they've gone, okay, hmm, actually, BYD's doing this much better than Tesla, but Tesla does have some advantages as well that people are not really looking at. BYD is winning one part of the race. Tesla is winning the other part. These brainiacs from Germany who tore apart these batteries, they say BYD, well, their batteries are actually more efficient, which was a, a bit of a surprise to a lot of people. They're lighter, maybe in some ways smarter, and they're kind of kicking Tesla's butt, but in some ways they're not, and I'll get to that in a second. In a study published in Cell Reports Physical Science, some German scientists, they dissected absolutely everything in Tesla and BYD batteries, design, materials, and importantly, thermal performance. Tesla uses NMC811 chemistry. So basically, they're using nickel manganese cobalt batteries. They are nickel heavy, high energy density, relatively high, 241 watt hours per kilogram, and 643 watt hours per liter. So they are lighter and they do have a higher, higher energy density, fair bit higher than BYD's blade battery. However, the blade battery is lithium ion phosphate. It's cheaper to manufacture. It's leaner, it has less energy density at 160 watt hours per kilogram. And its weight is, it's obviously heavier. It has 355 watt hours per liter. So you can see here, BYD's blade battery is not quite twice the weight in terms of the actual amount of power you're putting out, but not that far off. Here's the kicker though. Surprisingly, BYD's blade battery actually wins on efficiency, say these German chemists. So why is that? Why is it actually better? Well, it's got lower internal resistance, meaning less heat, easier cooling or less cooling needed. That actually helps to save weight and smoother power delivery potentially. Tesla's, while its battery is, it's more dense, energy dense, but it's kind of sweating under the pressure. So shape matters. Tesla's 4680 battery cell is a chunky cylinder. It's 46 millimeters wide, it's 80 millimeters long, it's a jelly roll style. BYD's blade battery looks entirely different. It's a flat meter long slab, and it has folded electrodes, massive volume efficiency, and both use graphite anodes. Interestingly, both Tesla and BYD, there's no silicon. Bizarrely, these scientists say they were shocked to see no silicon, but no one's really using silicon in anodes at this point in time. Well, very few companies are doing that. BYD's bigger format though, actually means less wasted space. Welding's wild too. Tesla's all laser, right? Tesla just lasers everything. BOD, they mix laser and ultrasonic. Fancy stuff over the industry's usual ultrasonic um, only. So yeah, I mean, it's a different way of manufacturing things, but it's, to be honest, probably not a huge difference between the two. Some YouTubers are saying that there's a huge difference, but there's not really. However, the catch, Tesla's packing more power per kilogram, but BOD is actually in some ways lighter Less passive junk like housing and bus bars eating up weight mean that overall, if you don't just look at the cell, but you look at the entire package, BYD's blade battery is probably a fair bit cheaper to make and more efficient in that regard. Now let's talk about the real world juice, right? Energy density and weight, they will change everything. Tesla's 241 watt hours per kilogram means more range per pound, technically. And it's true that NMC batteries do have a higher energy density than lithium ion phosphate. Think Model Y's long range, it has 555 kilometers. X being G6, my car, it has an NMC battery pack as well, similar to Tesla, that has 570 kilometers of range. Higher energy density crams more electrons in, so you're driving further on a single charge. This is critical for heavy SUVs or road trips, but it's denser, not necessarily lighter. Those 4680 batteries actually tip the scales, adding mass that drags on acceleration and efficiency, potentially. Now, BYD's blade battery, yes, it does have less range, um, 
But that lower range actually can be mitigated a little bit by the fact that you can just charge your lithium ion phosphate battery to 100% if you want to on a regular basis. And in the real world, I've actually seen this, it's really not an issue to do that. But here's the thing. The researchers said this, they said, here's where BYD flexes. Efficiency isn't just range, it's how smartly you use it. Lead researcher Jonas Gorsch says Tesla's chasing high energy density, which is great for bragging rights, but BYD's Blade battery prioritizes volume efficiency and cheap materials. Lower resistance means less heat at high C rates. And that means that BYD is actually losing only half the energy per volume Tesla does when charging fast. That's huge for 1000 kilowatt charging, which is coming with BYD's next generation blade batteries. The next gen generation blade battery being able to potentially handle 1000 kilowatt fast charging, which it actually does in the real world. We've seen it can charge. It can add 450 kilometers of range in five minutes. That has got the Chinese government to actually stop BYD from building a factory in Mexico because they're concerned then the United States is going to steal BYD's technology because they think it's so much better than what anyone else in America is actually doing today. And contrast that to Tesla. Tesla's top charging speed really at its superchargers is around 325 kilowatt to 350 kilowatt. That's it to V4 superchargers. However, Tesla does have an 800 volt system, but it's only in the Cybertruck. Realistically, to be honest, if we're going to compare an entire platform, BYD's new 1000 volt platform actually smokes everyone. Thermal management clearly is ridiculous. And that's how, that's the reason why BYD, Zika, Xpeng, and Geely, that's why they're using lithium ion phosphate batteries for their next generation technology because you can charge it so incredibly quickly between 600 kilowatt charging speeds all the way up to 1000 kilowatt. Really kind of, we're not there yet for NMC batteries. So the future of batteries might actually be lithium ion phosphate, as is what I've been saying on this channel for many years now. Who wins then? Well, it looks kind of like BYD wins, right? And they do in one sense, but they don't in another. Now, Tesla's 4680, it screams performance, more range, more power, or actually raw power, you could say, which is good for, say, a Tesla Model Y performance. Cost-wise, BYD's lithium-ion phosphate batteries, they, um, they don't use nickel. So that means according to ZME Science on March the 6th, a, they are $10 per kilowatt hour cheaper to manufacture. But considering BYD makes all of its batteries, or most of them, almost all of them in China, it's probably closer to $30 per kilowatt hour cheaper for BYD to make their batteries versus what Tesla is paying for theirs. But here's the one way that Tesla can kind of uh, bring back the deficit to BYD. Think about this. No one's mentioning this. The Tesla Model Y that's made in Germany uses BYD's blade battery. The, I guess you could say the old version. The version that you get in your BYD Auto 3 or your BYD Seal. How is it that Tesla, with the same size battery pack, in the Model Y, is able to get more range than an equivalent BYD Addo 3, which is a much smaller car. Tesla are getting around 455 kilometers of WLTP range, whereas BYD gets around 430 kilometers, so 25 kilometers less, from a car that's one or two sizes smaller. As you can see, yes, BYD, I think, are unquestionably the kings of architecture now, platform architecture with 1,000 volt architectures, their new blade battery that can charge at 1,000 kilowatt. That win, they win hands down. But when it comes to efficiency, extracting the maximum amount of efficiency you can get from the platform or from that battery, Tesla still leads. In fact, if you look at the size of Tesla's batteries in their cars, compared to the range they're getting, they are still beating absolutely everybody. That might change in the future. I mean, as you can see, car companies are catching up to Tesla in many ways. That could be next. But at this point, Tesla does still win on their ability to make incredibly efficient cars in comparison to the competition. But like I said, when it comes to the batteries themselves, BYD is most certainly out in front. Let me know what you think in the comments.